Welcome to All in One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the schema settings on your website. Let's get started. From the WordPress dashboard, select the search appearance link underneath the All in One SEO menu on the left hand side of your WordPress website. Then scroll on down until you reach the Knowledge Graph section. Under the Knowledge Graph section, there's going to be two options, one for a person and one for an organization. So this is where you want to let Google know whether your website is about a person for something typically like a blog or whether your website represents an organization. We're going to start with the person option. Under the person option, you can choose someone that appears in the list. And this list is populated from people that manage your WordPress website. Keep in mind that you can only pick someone with an author role or above. Alternatively, you can manually enter the person's name and a field will appear below if you make that selection and then you can select an image that best represents that person. The other option is organization. This lets Google know that this website is about an organization. You type in a name for your company, and then you type in a phone number. Don't worry about getting the format right on the phone number. You can just type in the numbers, and our plugin will put in the appropriate parentheses and dashes for you. Do make sure, though, that you select the correct country code, because formatting is different depending on which country you select. Below that, you can select a contact type. Don't worry about getting this perfect. Just try to select something that the majority of your customers would use. Alternatively, you can manually enter a type for the contact type. But in this example, we're going to use customer support. Select an image that best represents your company. Choose Save Changes, and you are done. Now you're going to want to scroll back up the page and click on the Content Types tab. Here we can configure the schema for the different content types. So under Post, for example, make sure you're on the Schema Markup tab, and we can select what a default post is, whether it's an article, a course, a product. For this example, let's choose Article. Underneath Article, you get some more options, such as Article, Blog Post, or News Article. For this example, we're going to pretend this is a blog, so we're going to leave it at blog post. Underneath pages, again, make sure you're on the schema markup tab and you can select a default type of schema for your page. You may be curious about what some of these other options are like course, product, and recipe. Well, when you choose these options, you can send even more detailed information to Google to let them know what your content is about. We have videos that go into more detail about how to do those things. For this example, we're going to make a page a web page. You get another option under web page type. So if the majority of your web pages were profile pages, you could select that here. For our example, we're just going to use web page for the web page type. You click Save Changes, and you're done. So that's how you set schema settings on your WordPress website. If you click on this video right here, we'll show you how to set up those recipe schema settings that I talked about earlier in this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful SEO WordPress plugin, All-in-One SEO.